The Narasapura plant run by the Cerebra Integrated Technologies Limited is one of the largest organized e-waste processing companies in India. Spread across 12 acres at Narasapura, it has three facilities with built-up area of 2 lakh square feet. Inside the buildings are huge piles of old monitors, keyboards, modems and laptops. E-waste getting to be mined. Around 80 people work in three shifts here. Cables and wires of various kinds are heaped up in one facility. They would yield copper and aluminum. There is a dedicated area for crushing printed circuit boards and segregating plastic and other materials. Cerebra also provides dedicated e-waste processing facilities for specific customers. Urban mining could well be the next big sunrise industry in the larger technology sphere. E-waste can yield not just plastic, copper and aluminium, but also precious materials such as gold, silver and palladium. But a lot of process goes into the segregation and mining part. India is the third largest generator of e-waste in the world. Every year, the country churns out 3.1 million tonnes of electronic waste, which the growth of the urban mining industry can help turn to wealth. The precious metals being mined at Cerebra include palladium, copper, gold, silver and nickel. Around 95% of e-waste in India ends up with kabadiwalas or untrained scrap collectors. They take whatever is useful and dump the rest. For people to dispose their e-waste and for e-waste companies to access them is the biggest challenge that urban mining in India is facing. The market potential however remains huge. The global electrical and electronics market is expected to grow from $3.0.8 trillion in 2021 to $4.1 trillion by 2026. The Economic Survey of India for 2018-19 had highlighted that India can extract $1 billion worth of gold from mining urban e-waste. To sustain economic growth and the increasing pace of digitalization in India, there has been a huge uptick in the use of electronic items, especially in Tier 2 and Tier 3 cities. But experts say urban mining clusters in India have only reached the developing stage. There are no significant clusters that can be counted as fully developed. Though majority of e-waste in India are processed by players in the informal sector, they cannot be counted as urban mining clusters. Masood Malik, CEO of the Hyderabad-based e-waste management company, the Sustainability Limited says an effective and sustainable refining system would provide enormous opportunities for India's economy. New companies are joining the urban mining bandwagon. Currently, Delhi, Mumbai and Bengaluru are gradually developing as urban mining clusters. But a key challenge to the industry is absence of awareness about the need for disposing e-waste in a safe manner.